Wellborn Ranch. Some video of the tallest drift in all of Neola, Potawatomi County. Like Ten foot high. On the Wellburn farm just out for a little jog in the snow showing you where some farmer had to plow through this this is the gravel road Sycamore Road leading to the Wellburn estate and uh, coming up on some uh, fantastic drifts of snow you can see Joyce's house off in the distance up there. It's a little slippery out here. All I have is a pair of Skecher black shoes. No tennis shoes. Forgot my running gear. Or I got my running gear except for my shoes. So, getting a little fitness today. Just by taking a little stroll in the heavy snow. You can see this is where the deer crossed the road earlier today, trying to get through that fence to get to the field. 
And right here you can see these massive drifts of snow, a mountain of snow that leads up to the back 40 of the Wilburn Estate. Uh, you can see I'm at the top of the hill here. There's a farmer up there trying to clear his lane to get, a, get through. As you can see, it's very difficult to get through out here in the country. And you can see in the distance, not from here, but you can see in the distance, traffic is moving on Interstate 80, only a mile, mile and a half away. But up here in the country, it is desolate. People are stuck in their homes. Uh, our lane is not clear yet. So I waded through about three feet of snow to get down here to the to the gravel road where you can see a tractor about an hour or so ago uh, made its way through here back and forth up this hill trying to get through this big drift of snow right here. You can see it's beautiful. It's glorious. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Check this out. Here's the fence line. But earlier, Lisa and I were up by the shed, the uh, camper shed. You can see this is the fence line for that area. Here's the mountain of snow there. Let's span around here, you can see. The uh, entire uh, snow drift leading into Neola and to the Wilburn Estate. And it follows all the way down here, this big mountain of snow. Here's some video footage of the cows trying to survive. And just over here, where they drink their water and they had some trouble the last couple days. They're freezing over and they have to come down and pour a bucket of hot water in there. As a melt it and jump on top of it and break the ice. You can see there's the farm, family farm here. I'm gonna give you a taste of what it's like to trek from the, the cow area all the way up to the house, wading through snow. I'm gonna put my glove back on first though. And here we go. Might run out of battery. Let's see. Here we go. I'm gonna try to get through the snow here. Walk all the way up to the house. Here's about three feet of snow that I have to trek through. To the house. Oh, there we go. Now I'm standing on top of this now. see our garage where our car is parked. It's got a drift of snow in front of it. So that'll let me have to be moved before we can get out of here. And we got about three feet of snow here in front of the sidewalk. I got some of it moved so I can at least get to hopefully where Mark will be plowing us out. A little bit later today. I'm just up and down in the snow here. This is it. We made it. From the house down to where that 